May 3rd. The apocalypse has not yet ended, and yet we are still here to complete the mission, because we're the men for the job. Really, one man can do the job, but luckily there's two. And stuff. Blah. And that- <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, we're partially disappearing what? today. You keep talking, Brawly, I'll fix it. Why didn't we chroma key beforehand, man? I, we did. Why did you- just, why just, it, it all went to shit. Why'd you set it for black? Oh. I didn't set it for black. He anyway, ghosts. guys. They see ghosts. Oh. Anyway, guys. Was that loud, guys? When I when I was up, when I was when I was all up on the um uh, the microphones on um, my business. Was that was that a little loud? I apologize. There we go. Was it too loud for you? Using my grindhouse voice. Okay, guys. Well, anyway, welcome. This is night two, and probably inevitably, definitely the conclusion of well, Far Cry Blood Dragon. Like people said, this game was short. I didn't realize it was this short. But you want to like maybe not go for the floor completely. Do a few more garrisons because those garrisons do have those funny, funny written, you know, humorous written, you know, side missions, which are kind of neat. Yeah, we can start off with the garrison. Okay. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna make us a little bit smaller. There we go. Last we checked, we were horribly disappointed by the lack of man kraken. <laughs> I, I've got to say, this that is sort of like a break thing. You saw the man in kraken game. in the um uh, in the. Keep in mind, this game this game's a budget game. So you saw you saw the man kraken in the in the eight bit you know um, cutscene. No, no, that was in a man kraken. Well, you don't know where the, 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 the that you don't, you don't know where the tentacles are coming from. There could have been a man down there with tentacles coming out of his face. No, I'm like 100% sure that that was actually, um, <laughs> what is it? Oh, Gambit, Gambit says, how the fuck, how can you fuck up Chroma Key every single stream? <laughs> Sir, from a man who doesn't actually use Chroma King, you're probably right. <laughs> it's that we're wearing different color shirts. Oh, that's a dragon. That's a dragon. All right, screw the saving those scientists. Oh, K-Man, are you asking what earbuds that he's using or that I'm using? I mean, we're using different earbuds, so that's that's a thing. Um, I'm using. I think these are Philips. They are orange. Let me see if I can pull them off here. Now you can see my see a little bit of my uh, earwax on there. It's kind of cool. I like it. The guy on the right. That's up. Oh, that'd be him. Well, I mean, I'm on the left. You're oh, on the right. I'm on the right. Yeah. Oh yeah, K man. Um, how you doing, sir? I guess you're new to the stream, or maybe you just never got caught our names. We're Overboard Gaming. This is Dagwood. I'm Brawly. Uh, so, we're in the business hi. of saving scientists from horrible, evil things. <laughs> They're saying my earbuds look, look like a Pokeball. I mean, it's not red and white, it's, it's uh, orange and white, but maybe, maybe the coloration of the stream looks a little red. This is such a bad idea! Alright! We saved them! <laughs> I saved the one remaining scientist, and this is how we start the stream. <laughs> this is Blood Dragon. Earwax is cool, Ego Raptor. Earwax. Did ear you literally show your disgusting, terrible? Well, I mean, if we were big, I'm sure they could have seen my earwax. There's even earwax on here. Eh. It eh. looks. Uh, Shesho says this looks like Skyrim from the future. Oh, it looks like Skyrim when you're using a fucking bow. In in this world, we have like you know machine guns and sniper rifles. The bow is the most accurate and powerful <laughs> of all weapons in this game. Things can take five bullets to the face and don't die, but one bow shot? Well, the funny thing is, Cheshire, this is not the far future. In fact, this takes place in 2007. The apocalypse has had an apocalypse. Oh, so I guess for a little bit of recap for those who don't know, this is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. This is not a, um, uh, a DLC for, for Far Cry 3. This is a standalone product that you can basically buy from uh, either stream, the PlayStation Network, or even um, through the Xbox Live, Live. I think the only retail version I have is for the PC version, but the game is 15 bucks, and it is pretty damn sweet. It is. Oh, God. No! The Go. game. Get distracted. Get distracted. And we're driving. And we are driving. Uh, okay, man, uh, I, you can pretend it's the real Ego Raptor, but I sincerely doubt it is the real Ego Raptor. I'm sure he has. I'm sure the real Ego Raptor has much better things to do than to watch, watch our 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 pithy little stream. You may have. You may pick up if you pay attention to him some slight personality differences. <laughs> Just like subtle, subtle, subtle little things. <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys doing? How are you all? Um, doing I, today? I think. I think. You didn't make it? No, nope, I made it! So if you didn't know, there are cars in this game you can drive. Well, yep. I, I use the term drive lightly here. I would call this... I, I, I think of them more as all-terrain vehicles. 
Well, although they, they seem to only work on one terrain. There you go. K-Man calls that a rock fail, then a water fail. Those weren't fails. There, there are also boats in this game, but there's literally no reason to use boats, because your guy can, uh... Your guy can swim faster. This guy can swim faster than, than boats could actually travel in this game. It's, yep. it's kind of crazy. Though it makes sense if you're a cyborg. And you run faster than cars can go. I guess he has, you know, cyborg, <laughs> cyborg enhancements. Cyber enhancements, rather. Also, no, no one will notice me sneaking around with this bow. Well, if they actually look at you. No. Where are they at? I think it's all got to your left. Well, not that guy. Obviously, he's yep. dead. We're clearing one area at a time. How does a cyborg wrong. swim? He, he clearly has a uh, cyber augmentation for I don't know <laughs> water planer movement. And that too. Eagle Raptor is a much better explanation for how cyborgs can swim, with his arms and legs. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a much better explanation. Uh, Not a problem. Sheshu says, 2007 as envisioned by um, uh, jo Joel um, uh, Schumacher. You know what, it does kind of look like um, Batman, uh, what was it, what was it Batman Forever? Is the one with um, uh, Mr. Freeze? Is that, is that a dragon? But yeah, this game takes place actually in the past, so this is the, the, uh, the past future. Oh, there's a gun. Can you use that thing? I, I could probably use it for that approach, but there's nothing over there, so. Oh. <laughs> um, K-Man, yeah, actually, yes, you can. As you, um, do the garrison missions in here, you get access to more upgrades. It's, this game, in terms of the mechanics for leveling up and, um, your skills. No! It's a little simpler than Far Cry, because in Far Cry 3, in Far Cry 3, as you leveled up, um, you can, uh, you know, choose what skills you get. And here, it's, it's, it's a very traditional leveling up system, because as you level up, the game just gives you either uh, more health or new skills. And since the game is only supposed to be like seven hours long, it's better that way, I think. And the way you get, uh, item, or, sorry, weapon enchantments. Enchantments! ENCHANTMENT! The way you get weapon upgrades, again, by doing, uh, liberating garrisons and doing a mission within a garrison, which gives you access to a new weapon, um, uh, uh attachment. Holy shit! Do you get cool tattoos you level up? No, I don't think you get tattoos you level up in this game. Oh yeah. Do you get tattoos in, in Far Cry 3? Since basically the way your character is No! In, no! In Far Cry 3, as you level up, you're becoming one with the warrior, the warrior spirit of the island. And as you pick skills, your character gets tattoos on his arm that dictate that shows you what what skills you pick. Yeah, this is definitely not Far Cry yeah, 3. You don't then. get that. I mean you get you have a I mean, you can start off with a cyborg arm in this game, so I think right off the bat you're better off than whatever whatever Jason Brody can produce with his ink. Are, are you sure that the warrior spirit isn't necessary for me here? I mean, maybe there's a warrior spirit, but you know what? I think when you're cyborg, you don't need a warrior spirit. You are the warrior spirit. Oh shit! Enchantment! Oh shit! Fuck! We're dead. We're dead. And that is an auspicious start. Oh, and Godot tonight. did say did say he was he quit his SL1 Manus run to watch this and you better not fuck up. And now fu I fucked now up. Now you fucked up. There was a dragon! So the, the dragon wandered into I the base. You, well that's when that's when you start chucking cybernetic hearts. I did! And make the dragon go after the I was in a corner. <laughs> All right. Godot says he's ending his life because you're because you're fuck up. Because of too much disappointment. There's there's so much pressure when you play on stream from people like Godot. Well, no, when you're on stream, people are here to either you know cheer you on or jeer you on for the most part. Never get cornered by dragons. Still, uh, Stilkin says. <laughs> Dark says, or Dark says, has any dragon ever caused problems in Dark Souls? Come on, Dag, handle it. Is, is, what? Is that handle it a uh, a uh, World of Warcraft reference, my friend? Whelps left side. Whelps left right side. Handle it. Uh, K-Man says, I feel if I streamed, I would I would feel horribly. I commend you, brother. Well, 
I mean, K man, look at this way. When it comes to streaming, there's mostly two kinds of streamers. You got your pro gamers, you know, who are actually good at the games they play. Probably. And they really... <laughs> no, 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 you're good at shooting games. That's all you got. <laughs> well, no, the people who actually, like, make money off their games, know. you know, they're part of teams that are, like, you know, nationally known. And they usually don't even really interact with their audience because they're there just to play the game and people are want to want to jack their skill and see how the pros do it. But then there are also gay, um, streamers who like other <laughs> people who are bad at what they do, but you know they're amiable. They uh, you know they, they, we're, they, we're, no we're let's players. They, let's... they they revel in their shittiness, and that's 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 the criteria I believe we perhaps fall under. Except when I got the I got the controls for a first person shooter single player, I feel pretty good. Uh, comparatively, you're much better than me. <laughs> that, that, that's most of what it is. Yeah, I like how <laughs> you were like struggling with some of those things. You gave me the controls yesterday, and like I, I immediately jump and do like a, a dab stab. Like, you yeah. have been playing Far Cry 3 for like the past well, month. Well, I was playing the um the PC. Well, uh, this is the P I was playing it with a um uh, keyboard and mouse. So it's different. It's different with a um. Uh, different. It is different with with a with a um uh, non-transferable skills, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Godot says, I'll take DSP for 400. I've never seen DSP. Uh, is this a guy, is he a streamer? We've talked to him before, but is he a streamer on um, on Twitch or does he have like a YouTube account? What does he do? I'm pretty sure he's on Twitch. All right, so there's a dragon. Oh, and has YouTube, okay. There's a dragon, but that's the only thing I know where it is. Oh, they're saying he's extremely awful at everything and he is bad. Like, he, it's not an act for him. He actually is a bad player. Awesome. So See, the the the, uh, the chain gun is definitely the best gun. I think, or actually, is it called the Devastator? I think it's called. It's definitely the best gun for the for the oh, dragon. No, this is a, this is a stationary one. Oh, it's a station. Oh, okay. Well, it's the same one as the uh, the one you get when you can walk around with it, though. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I didn't even. Oh, he plays it. everything by himself. Oh, that's right. Some people were saying, you know, whenever I die in a game, I jokingly, I jokingly, for the most part, say things are poor game design. But I guess some people are saying that he actually blames bad game design completely, non-ironically. Hey man, <laughs> bad game design. Bad game design. All right. Uh, bad player, bad person. Well, I mean, I'm a bad person. I, mean, I was gonna say, while we might fall under the heading of bad players, I hope we, I hope you guys don't think we fall under the heading of bad players. A bad person. Ooh. Take. So, where? The, uh, there should be things. For, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, there should be something for me to kill here, but I don't think I can find it. Let's save the day. I'm a hero. I'm a real cyborg hero. Every time I, I, I catch your, your bow, my peripheral vision, I keep a thing it's kind of like a badass, like glowing, like great sword. I'm like, oh, you guys get pissed if I do this? Probably. Before you even threw it. Well, okay, man, uh, are you taking with this game right here? Uh, Blood Dragon? This game is like 15 bucks, so I mean. It's oh, a budget. That, it's a budget game. That that, that, well, that yeah. actually doesn't make them hostile to me. Well, you didn't, I don't think you hit them though. Well, maybe if I do hit them. Well, if you, does it make the other ones hostile? Well, if you hit those ones with a grenade, and they die, they 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 they're, they're. I don't think they count as hostiles. So, <laughs> I want to know if that makes the other one hostile because that was just a tragic grenade accident. Tragic. Yeah, the AI came on came on and used the uh, the trigger command for the grenades. <laughs> oh, you're, okay. I, actually, I don't think there are any others. I, I think that we've fully eliminated. Compliment. You killed. You killed all two of them. I'm glad you liberate this garrison and whoever this forces of um uh, good scientists come in. They go. All right. Let's um. We liberate it for us. Let's go reinforce. Let's send two not soldiers, scientists. That that's all they got. Still can cause you a a tragic uh a tragic grenade accident. You're a, you're a walking grenade accident on legs. I I don't. I don't know what happened, I just... Turtles are living in the sewers under this garrison, blocking pipes. Alright, Ego, what did rats. you link, sir? What did you link? Is this gonna be a, um, uh... Yes, it's gonna be another, yet another... <laughs> dating simulator. Speaking of which, Brawly... Why, you, why don't you play more dating sims with is me? That we're gonna, is that what we're gonna play tomorrow? What do you stream? I, I, was, I was thinking about doing that. Oh, my goodness. All right, so I'm supposed to be slaughtering four turtles here because they're befriending rats. Well, what time are you gonna stream? What time are you gonna stream tomorrow? I, because in the you, afternoon. You remember at seven o'clock, um, LG is gonna be doing his stuff. 
in like, the afternoon, yeah. sir. Are you gonna kill a turtle? They're Wait. befriending rats. No! They're befriending rats. The, the, the little turtle. They're wandering around eating pizza and befriending rats, Brawly. I that's, can't let the four of them remain. That's what. Oh! <laughs> I think a turtle fucked you up. I think that this is perfectly justified. A turtle. <laughs> he had a he had a, he had a Dark Souls esque um, firing barrel waiting for you. Ooh. Is that turtle got a flamethrower? Oh my goodness. Oh. These turtles, they, they aren't fucking around, they're packing heat. Literally. Are they wearing little, do they have little masks on their faces? Yeah. Have you not figured this reference out? I Ollie? know exactly what the damn reference is. But I don't that's you. why I asked if there's a little mask on his face. Basically, there's a little mask on his face. Yep. And he didn't use a flamethrower, he just yeah. jerry-rigged this portion of the sewers. <laughs> yep. Dude, they, they are they are coked out on um, uh, on pet pizza here. Oh, there you go. They're hostile turtles. They are, they are looking for blood. They are out out for your cyber cyber cyborg future juice. Look, you know the rule in OBG is you never kill something unless it attacks you first. <laughs> and as a result, he did attack you first. I he did. Oh, what are they gonna do? Is there a crocodile waiting for you? Yep. Of course, there's gonna be four turtles. So, what I love how is they basically just took all of the, the animals from Far Cry 3 and just gave them like neon teeth and eyes, and bam! Cyborg animals. Yep. Give it the feel of the 80s. That's all you need. <laughs> I feel almost bad for killing them. Th that... Well, Dark says, may I remind you of the kill all NPC run that we did. A lot of those NPCs, didn't, they, they didn't attack us first. That doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count. You pilfering the crocodile? Yep. Okay. That was really Brawly who did all that. He wanted to kill some Priscilla of it. from the start. I didn't want to... Excuse me, sorry. I didn't want to kill Priscilla. She was... She was so fluffy. So you're missing one turtle? Yep. I'm not sure if it's back the way I came, so I'm going to check first, and we'll go for it. What did that amazing chest ever do to you? Well, to be fair... Um... Okay, oh my god, guys, here comes some Dark Souls spoilers. To yes, yes, if you don't want a slight Dark Souls spoil well, reasonable. Alright, when you see me do this, that means unmute your, um, uh, unmute, unmute the stream. Don't turn us off, though. So, to be fair, in Dark Souls, um, Guinevere doesn't actually exist. So, when you kill her, you're not actually killing her at all. Okay, we're done. Alright, Brawly. Electrified stuff. I assume that will kill me. Oh, you saw- Yes! K-Man saw our link on GameFAX. Oh, sweet! Excellent, man. Appreciate it. Okay. It's a puzzle. Is it a puzzle? Can I walk on this shit? Because it you doesn't probably, let me. You probably can. I'm sure you can walk on that. Oh, I have to jump up to get on it. Uh. So, funny thing about GameFAX. Um, so, I've been, I've been taking to kind of posting some of our stuff on GameFAX. And sometimes, and Reddit sometimes, too. Which is a horrible idea because on Reddit, you either get, like, vote, downvote Oblivion or get downvoted and get, like, made fun of. Anyway. So on Game Facts, I was, is bitter. I was so happy today because I posted um, some videos of our, our Dark Souls um, clips from Dark Souls on there. And usually I'm used to like people like responding on Game Facts for them saying, "Oh, you spamming freak," and then using a lot more colorful words. But people were actually nice and supportive and of, of a video I posted on there, and it was so nice. I'm so, I love the Dark Souls community that the Game Facts have. It's so happy. It's so supportive. It's so nice. Like. One of the, one of the um, uh, I posted a link to our stream for on Game Facts um, to say, hey, we're gonna be playing the game at seven o'clock tonight, and one of them was like, oh, this 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 board is full of spammers, blah blah blah. Man, man, it's, it's just I don't know. It's so easy just to make fun of someone online. You know, if, if people are having fun, having a good time, you know, let them have a good time. Probably never actually has a good time. We don't stream to have a good time. We stream because we like. People watching us. Yep. It's it Brawly needs his hair to be observed. I like you to watch. I like you to watch. New Blitz, to be fair, that was animal cruelty. Those those turtles were packing heat. They attacked us first. They, they one of them trained a crocodile to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? Wow, really? Alright, so. Oh, cool! Sky High Club says he's been here since um uh, uh when I posted about the stream on for Bioshock Infinite. Oh, sweet! Cool. Well, thanks for you know saying something yeah. to now. It's it's good to know, good to know that those posts actually influence people watching because like 
Yeah. Oh, hey, doing Mastero. It's Masato, not Mastero. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I saw the R. I saw. I thought I saw. I, I looked quickly. I thought I saw an R there. I know. Mas Masato. My bad. Masato. Is that kind of like the name of the character from uh, the chick with the purple hair from um, Evangelion? Aww. This this game. Yeah. It, it's worth the fifteen dollars. Like seriously, fifteen bucks. Like, for the most part, is not is is nothing. I mean, obviously, for some people who might be in high school and not have a job, might be a lot. But um, uh, uh for some people. 15 bucks, this is a great... See, this to, this this feels like an old-school kind of expansion. You know how, like, in the olden days for, like, Warcraft, uh, they would just basically take a game, take the assets, and just basically make a new kind of mini-game? Instead of, like, making, like, a $5, like, piece of horse armor. This feels like old-school, like, expansion pack. Did you say piece of horse armor? Yeah, okay, so... What? Is, what? Uh, okay, so one of the first... Um, damning things uh, of, of DLC that ever came out was for Oblivion. You could buy horse armor for your for your horse. No, for no, like, they're after for my hostage for like three dollars. This like people were enraged because like it was it was a cosmetic thing for three. I think it was I think. Well, the hostage has been killed. I think the horse armor was one of the first like cosmetic like things you can buy in a game for DLC. And so when people say horse armor, they basically use it as a as a euphemism, not a euphemism, but as a indicator of shitty DLC. Just just because. He says dick shit. <laughs> the protagonist of this game is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. He's such an asshole. Just because if you like this kind of humor, I would definitely suggest check on the game Boltstorm. Like, Boltstorm is, is this kind of humor, but taken to the next level. Like, Boltstorm is a great game. Did I did I really miss? Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh my god, Vulpix. Oh, Vulpix! No. Crye loves Vul... She just said it in chat. She loves Vulpix. Cry is one of our mods. Ooh. Obviously, he's one of our mods because you see the the mod there. Is <sighs> you don't even get horses in uh in League of Legends confirmed for shit. Yeah, see, like when it comes to DLC, if it's cosmetic, I'm okay with it really for the most part because you don't have to buy it. I have issues when DLC is like you, it's kind of pay to win. Like you know you pay. You pay money to, like, you know, get a better weapon on someone else. Well, there's a difference between pay to win, though, and... Well, okay, it's not pay to... When it's, when it's abject pay to win. If it's, if it's kind of like um, how it's set up in World of Tanks, where, like, kind of like in order to have... In order to play at a higher tier of play, you need to play basically paint into the game. That's fine, I think. Oh, thank you very much, K-Man. Thank you so much for all, for all the follows. Yeah, guys, if you, if, if you want to think of a way to support us, the best thing you can do, aside from following us on on, um, uh, on stream, is to follow our Twitter, our YouTube, our Facebook. It's all beneath the video down there. All, all nice. What are you guys shooting at? They're you, maybe shooting... Oh, oh, he's right there. He's right there. They're making him walk the plank? <laughs> Wait. Oh, you... you oh, did he... The sniper might have gotten him. Oh. oh. I, I was kind of like, why? Oh. Oh, okay, K-Man, if you just drip, uh, if you go down below um, the video, scroll down. If you basically make your mouse go, not next to the chat, but the next like bar, next like box in next to our video, scroll down. There is a whole um, bunch of our links, bunch bunch of links to stuff that you know we do or stuff we have. So it's all down there. <laughs> Mr. Pancake, <laughs> hey, there's someone rescued me. I'm gonna go jump in the water anyway. I mean, I wish he actually would have jumped in the water. That would have been incredibly convenient for me. Counter snipe. Okay, so you claim that the um There have a few there have been a few times when I used a sniper rifle, it said stealth kill. Okay, so So I don't I don't know I don't know how you might it might have to be uh, you have to get him in one shot, obviously. Splat. The hostage yeah. attack. Well that one caused an explosion, so there might have been it was a little more um uh So if you're quick yeah. It said. No, I was gonna shoot the hostage. There was no <laughs> chance. It said there have been a few times when I used the, the 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 rifle and it said stealth kill. So I don't know. What did I blow up? Was there like a barrel behind there must, him? There had to have been an environmental red explosive barrel behind it. <laughs> oh, extreme! How you doing, sir? As well, it hasn't been a long time. I remember seeing it a few days ago. Were you here? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, K-Man. I was talking. Oh, yeah. I got him on the third try, the key sniper. Uh, well, when we were playing Dark Souls, um, K-Man, we definitely we played the PC version. If you get, there are two fixes for the PC version. There is the, was a DS fix, which basically allows you to play at a, an appropriate um, high definition resolution. And allows, if you want to, there's a, um, a frames per second unlocker, allows you to go to 60, 60 frames per second. There's also a fix that allows you to have better net code for the game. Um, so I would definitely, Dark Souls, if you get it cheap for like 20 bucks, um, on Steam, and if you um, uh, got an Xbox controller, play with a controller. By by my God, you were if you were gonna play Dark Souls with a um, uh, with a keyboard and mouse, you know, good luck, sir. But that's a great game. Definitely get it. Can I? Oh, I'm sorry, Eager Raptor. Eager Raptor. I mean, uh, I usually unless we're doing something special on a weekend. By the way, next week on May Fourth, we're gonna be doing Drunk Souls with LG. Unless we're doing something special on the weekend, I'd like to have my weekends kind of myself. I like to, you know, I like to, you know, stop playing video games for stream, and then like, you know, and lay back and just relax and play video games on the weekend. No, um, I might be doing You're some kind stuff. of though, yeah. <laughs> I might be doing some stuff tomorrow, so um, I might pop in a few times. That is, if I even end up doing things, we'll see. Yes, um, some of the people in the apartment want to see Iron Man three tomorrow, so got one. <laughs> <laughs> you killed him Dark Souls style. Oh yeah, guys. Um, Kawaii just just linked in chat a a link to our our, our ever growing highlight reel from from Dark Souls. Uh, this thing is fucking long. This thing is fucking epic. If you want to see the best of the best of our our roll from Dark Souls, that's where to go. It's okay. awesome. So snipers, no, no, do do not do this sniper. Do not do not do it. Where do you live, K man? Well, that that's that was what actually stealth is. I killed one thing <laughs> stealthily. <laughs> I, I got you, man. Just give me a second. Let me. That's not creepy at all, Brawly. Hey, he's the one that asked to see us with us, man. Where do you live, K man? Where do you fucking live? I mean, where do you live? Yep. On our 24-hour stream, we did some Pokemon Snap and. Oh, yep. There were there were many vul Vulpix. What do you, what, what are the what's the plural of Vulpix? Vulpix I? Vulpi. Vulpi. <laughs> Saving my genius. Cool. <laughs> you, know, you know what it reminds me of? That reminds me of in, in, in Grand Theft Auto. If you if you go find a uh, hooker and you you know, you enlist her services and you get healed up and you pay her, she gets out of the car and you go kill her for your money. That's, well, I that mean, reminds me of that just a little bit. Except I don't get any reward from this except for the reward of job well done and murder. Job well done. My God, he swims fast. There was a TV set down here, wasn't there? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, there it there is. There we go. There it is. Um, Eagleraptor, our most viewed video. Right now, we have a few videos on um uh, on YouTube that are kind of that are kind of stuck at the 301 thing, and I hate that because I can't tell how many views we have. But I think the main our main most viewed video is um for it was from our our Tomb Raider run. I think it has like 605 views. We don't have um. There's no, there's no view, there's no you video we have on YouTube that's the most viewed. We just oh. have, we, we have a fuck ton of uh, mute, um, uh, videos that, and all the views are spread throughout the entire thing. So, do you know where I need to go next? Oh, videos you, videos you have posted. I think we've posted so far like 450 videos. Brawly has a thing where he loves posting videos. Well, see, like our uh, until we use our YouTube account for like actually maybe original content. I kind of use our YouTube as, as a additional curation device for our, because like I feel using the YouTube, the YouTube, mm -hmm. the YouTube for watching our previous shit is a lot easier to use the Twitch viewer. Yeah, Twitch has been having some issues lately. Yeah. <laughs> Xtreme says usually YouTube takes longer to update the viewer count, so maybe you could have a million views. You never know. We definitely have maybe. a million views. <laughs> Sitting on a gold mine. Okay, so consumables, weapons. Where do we need to go to upgrade our weapons, by the way? Um, just choose an item. Okay. And then you have the op the options for it. Oh, we get explosive rounds for this for the. Uh... Oh, that's cool. Though I'd imagine explosive rounds for the uh, sniper rifle doesn't doesn't make it all stealthy. Does the bow have any upgrades? Nope. Well, I, mean, I, I guess the bow was just overpowered to begin with, so it doesn't, it, it doesn't need upgrades. If they added upgrades <laughs> to the bow, it would unbalance the game. 
it, it would make the non-existent multiplayer even worse. All right, K-Man. So wh wh why do you wh why did you like the new? Um, we personally really enjoyed the new Tomb Raider, but wh for, for, as a discussional piece, wh why did you like it, sir? By the way, the plot was a little yeah. Subpar. I, I will say the that. plot was definitely subpar. The I mean, gameplay was fun enough, though. Yeah, I mean. I think what it was is that we were playing Tomb Raider, we're like, yeah, this plot's all right. And then we played Bioshock and we're like, wow, that just puts Tomb Raider's shitty plot way into perspective, for the most part. Where I'm sorry, Ken, why did you feel um, that the new Tomb Raider was trash? I'm not trying to, like, be offensive. I would like to discuss, because I personally enjoyed it. I, I want to see why people perhaps didn't like it. So, I'm supposed to go off this direction for some reason. Well, still, can, I don't think that the, um, I don't think the new Tomb Raider is supposed to be a part of the original series. It is, it is a reboot, so. Did I, did I really get stuck on a rock? Oh god, dragon! Nope! Dragon, nope, nope, we're good! Oh, it's funny you mentioned Far Cry 3K, man, because I, I, I have this consistent joke that I kind of feel like that um, uh, Tomb Raider is third-person Far Cry 3, and, and also that Far Cry 3 is, is um, uh, I'm sorry, Tomb Raider is first-person Far Cry 3, and Far Cry is third-person Tomb Raider. Because there, like, there are a lot of similarities between these two games, like a fuck-ton of similarities between these two games. But yeah, like, I wasn't a, a too big fan of the... Oh, uh, is my vehicle about to explode? It might. I don't know if it follows um, GTA rules, where if you see a... Um, uh, a vehicle of smoking means it's gonna blow up. Oh, did you get it? Did you get it? You got it! I love the explosions this game. They're very satisfying. I, sh I shot him in the butt. But yeah, like, I wasn't ever really a big fan of the original Tomb Raider games. And I can see why, but I know how about them. I can see why people who really enjoyed the physics puzzles were, can be really turned off by the new Tomb Raider. That said, that combat was so fucking good! I mean, this is an example of New Terminator of them trying to kind of appeal to that 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 mass market Call of Duty crowd, where they made the game more focused on you know, gunplay than you know what it was originally made for, which was the platforming and puzzles. I mean, eh, I mean, maybe. Though I thought it was kind of weird that you know, for you know, for for as railed against as DLC gets, you would think Tomb Raider be a perfect game for some DLC where. All right, we didn't make a lot of um, tombs in the game for you to explore, so here's DLC with like five hours of tomb raiding. But instead, they're gonna make more updates for the multiplayer. Cause who the fuck plays the multiplayer in Tomb Raider? Yeah. By the way, I, I think part of the reason why I thought the um, newest Tomb Raider game was pretty all right was because I have never actually played a Tomb Raider game before. Yeah. So, I mean, what's the, what's That's the difference? That's true. It, it makes it hard to dislike it on, you know, its r roots. That's true. When you don't know those roots. Yep. That said, that story, like, the more I think about it, it's just so shallow and dumb. Like... And I still want to know what happens with her legs, that she does not <laughs> die every two minutes. <laughs> So good. I haven't I haven't really played a two meter game either, with the exception of the new one. So, I mean, we're both two meter babies. Yeah. Um, I actually I own a PS3, but I honestly have never played an Uncharted game. I should though. They're really cheap now, aren't they? Pigs with sucks written on them for, for whatever reason. Wait, he had two things written on him. Sloan sucks. Oh, okay. People writing Sloan sucks. Oh, slowly rolling pigs. <laughs> <laughs> well, this roll is on, little piggy. <laughs> roll on. This little piggy. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy did not go home because he was dead. <laughs> That's a pork. <laughs> it's a pork roll. Oh shit! 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 <laughs> Alright. Gotta save it's these a, people. It's a sausage roll. You're not safe! Saved one? Oh, that's right, you got explosive rounds though, right? Save two. Oh, jeez. Do a barrel roll! Save three. Um, K-Man, we don't- we're not big Call of Duty guys at all, really. In that I've never played a Call of Duty game. Yeah. Got it! I and stopped their senseless violence. <laughs> 
Um, we're not big. We're not big um, Call of Duty guys, and also if we're gonna play a MOBA, it's me that'll play MOBAs. I really only play um, uh, what what's that game called? Dota 2. Yeah, even this is not exactly my style of game. I'm okay with it. But. I have Black Ops 1, and like I said, when it comes to multiplayer, I I'm not a fan of how um, Call of Duty does multiplayer. I it's not my style. So Call of Duty is a lot of fun. Okay. Um... Oh god, I ran past one of those birds. Oh jeez, the people with, with, with the summer green name, I can barely I can barely, I can barely make out your name. Is that Ipayo Ipayo Scofi? I'm sorry. I believe it means instant coffee. What? I believe o plus. that that means instant coffee. Oh, okay. Like. Anyway, instant coffee? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Anyway. Um Look, I remembered. We're not going to play uh, <laughs> We're not going to play um it off right off the bat, obviously, because we, we like we don't, we don't like doing str um, like, you know, series in a row, but that is something we'll definitely go back to some point too. Did I put the owner on today? I did. Thanks for checking. <laughs> Opla. Yeah, as Kylie said, he's been around. That's why I said it's in. in yeah, some coffee. I, I, I remember the name from what chat. I just again, yeah, the summer green just really throws me off. It's hard to race sometimes. <laughs> the area has some remarkable properties. Dragon blood becomes supercharged inside it, leading me to suspect it's a ley line hub. If you believe in Lockyer's theories of solstice alignments, <laughs> right with energy output. Be careful, Rex. That place is filled with death. death. What kind of death? <laughs> The dangerous kind, Rex. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, still can ask, what game are we going to be playing after Blood Dragon? I think Dag would, not counting what we're doing tomorrow, whatever's happening tomorrow, I think Dag would wants to, um... Oh. So don't do this. Why not? Well, this is, this is the end of the game. It's, is it the end of the game? Probably the end of the game. Okay. Then we'll wander around a little bit and okay. do other things. Maybe at least another one or two more... Oh, actually, you know what? Actually, maybe we can't go back because I think we can go back and do garrisons af after we beat the game. That's so, true. That's true. But yeah, what game after after um, this? I think Monday, Dagwood might want to do... He might. He, I think he wants to complete Cave Story. Yep. I think, I think that's what he wants to do. And also, as a side note... I'm probably going to waste some of my own personal time playing Star Drive, and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to waste that time on stream. So I might do that tomorrow as well. Well, not tomorrow, but like oh, okay. at some point of time in time as well. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go liberate this Vul game. Vulpix says, "Oh, what game story?" Yeah, I think we're about. I think is it like maybe two or three hours into the game so far, which. In terms of actual progress, does not be, mean very much for yeah, me. Yeah, he started. Um, he started when we, when we were doing our, our 24 hour um, men overboard stream last weekend. So, and Volpix says, "And Star Drive." He typed. He put it in all caps. So he is. He is excited, perhaps. I. I this, um, the Star Drive might not be during normal stream hours, depending on how Brawly feels about that. What I saw from today, it looked kind of neat. I'm not opposed to those kind of games. You think it's just because I enjoy, you know, Soul Calibur? I've only seen you play I, fighting games and I, like action shooting. I games. can enjoy things that are art that go against the grain, sort of. I enjoyed Sots. That goes against the grain. I enjoyed that. Like I'm surprised we didn't we didn't play more Star of the, um, more of the Pit. Uh, honestly, we could. I like that a lot. Okay, so give me a second, guys. I, um, some people were talking in chat that I missed a few things. Well, no, I, I don't know if I'll do it off stream. Like, I could just do it during our non main hours here. I could do it whenever I'd like. All right, I'm going to go and take over this outpost, I think. Um, uh, Dark asks, have you played any of the Wise games? The Y. Um, I'm, I'm going to need, need a little more information. Yep, got another one. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, yeah, yes. Monkey Man, what you said. Four times games are not necessarily stream content. But that said, I mean, I could always do them, like, in the afternoon someday or something. What, is, what does four times mean? Um, so, expand, um, I forget the second one, <laughs> um, exploit and exterminate. It's, essentially, they're a style of games where you go and build more cities and gather more planets and more resources and use those to do more of the same and eventually overcome all your opponents. 
Like, like Civilization games? But Civilization S. Okay, okay. Well, Star Drive looked kind of neat, though, in that it isn't completely, like, stilted where everything is stopped. Like, you see, you can see things happen in real time from when I, from when I was watching you play that yep, game. Yep, Star Drive. And plus, you can play as Space Bears. Who does like Space Bears? I am definitely more fan of the Space Thulu race. <laughs> is that... Is that a cyber cougar? Probably, what kind of animal is this I just murdered? Uh, it might be some kind of panther, but since we're... Cyber panther. Cy Cy panther. Cyber Panther. It's a Cy Panther. Space pedo bears. Um, Dark asks if uh, Star Drive is just like Sins of the Solar Empire. It's. It's different. It's. It has more um, galactic civilizations too than Sins of the Solar Empire does, but it has the real time play aspect that um, Sins of the Solar Empire does not. So. That's my general explanation there. It, I, I would definitely put it as much closer to um, oh. um, Galactic Civilization. Oh, how are you doing, Sarkva? Sarkva, I want to mention something to you, sir. So, as you know, I've been, I've been working my way making our, our Dark Souls clips. I've noticed something in our Dark Souls clip. Sarkva is a consistent character that who consistently appears within our within our playthrough of um uh, he works hard for that like seriously he was our first invasion then he started invading us more and like <laughs> like there are times where like we're just playing we're just we're just playing something and then we mentioned Sarkva he's like he's the entity within our within our our, our Dark Souls universe I find it absolutely fucking hilarious Sarkva I, I like that description if it's a mix of those two games then it is a perfect four times game. <laughs> I, I will say that there are some issues with navigation and tutorials in the game that I wish it would do a little bit better, but the actual gameplay, once you get past the first two or three hours, seems pretty awesome. Showtime says Sark was the villain of Dark Souls. Pretty much. He was there early on to give us encouragement to make us think he's on our side, and then we, and then once we fully trusted him, he murdered us for our humanities and souls. Actually, I think he gave us far more than he ever <laughs> took away. <laughs> Galactic Civs is one of my favorite games. Like, there was there was literally a point in my college time, or go, when I was going to college, where I spent like just a year playing Galactic Civilizations 2 and doing nothing else. Oh, um, Bizarro? Actually, we can go to the last area of the game right now. This is a very, very short game. Um, but there's still a lot of things to do. We have a, a butt ton of, um, what do you call them? Garrisons to liberate. And each garrison has, like, one or two missions within it, so. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the full enjoyment out of this we're, game. We're padding the game we're not, right we're, we're, we're getting the, we're getting our full, our full $15 worth of investment from this game. Plus, actually... I like doing the quests after you do them. Hmm. Like the the whole, um, what, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bit? That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the quests in this game, a lot of the side quests that have nothing to do with the plot line, uh, they're kind of funny. And, oh, there you go. Oh, hey, Akimita Kai. How you doing, man? How you doing, sir? Galactic Civ 2 is the only game you played more than Dark Souls. I like that. Cool. I almost always took the fast pop um, perk when I was playing it. Because there's just something amazing about making your economy five or six times larger than anybody else's early on in the game, and then just ripping through everything. Although I've invested a lot of times in Sins of a Solar Empire that I should not have. I don't. I'm not a big fan of multiplayer um, Sins, but it's fun messing with the dumb AI. Hey, what's up, Wrath? How you doing, sir? We're to the right, you don't know anything anymore? That's right, you go away once and we're forever. I mean, some days we might even be swapped position on the couch. I mean, holy shit, that might be amazing. Oh, I, I... Uh-oh. Uh, what did you do? Unique Horn Dragon. It's ma... Chips Hunter, how you doing, sir? We're doing pretty good. Alright, so I have to go and kill a Unique Horn Dragon, Brawly. Don't still get in all caps. Don't swap positions. We we could we could. <laughs> Dark says so so much for having the outpost secured. It's a blood unicorn. All right, sorry. A blood unicorn. Let's go for this. Let's do it. 
Eager Raptor, I can give you no useful information on that. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, sir. Is are these animes? <laughs> Stilkin says, um, you already managed to mess up the green screen. Who knows what the green screen is fine do. now. It's, it looks it, it's looking good. Yeah, it was just two seconds of weird shirt static. Maybe we should just go for the shirt static look all the time, so that I mean, people will be used to well, it. Well, like, man, whenever he, sometimes when he plays, if his shirt has, like, static or, like, you know, you can see through it, he doesn't give a shit. I mean, and look where he's, he's at. Maybe, maybe that's the key. If you don't give a fuck about your green screen at all, the more pop you become on Twitch. <laughs> My hand is a dolphin! Alright, so there's a dragon over there. Bizarro, it... <laughs> Romancing a blood dragon means letting it brutally murder you. So yes, we have we have we have romanced multiple blood dragons. Get his chest. Oh, there we go. He's, he gave you his chest. I, I'm gonna wait. You gotta hold your breath. Oh, there you go. Oh, now he's mad. There you go. Are you seeing a chainsaw? I don't I don't think the I don't think there's a chainsaw in this game. You probably saw his, perhaps his... What the hell was that? Here, boy. Gojira! Gojira! Here, kitty kitty. Uh, here, kitty kitty. Um, Cotty Bear, it's because I think they were exper... It's, it's not supposed to be a dragon, I think it's a dinosaur that they, um, uh... What? It, it... It's a dinosaur that they, they revived Jurassic Park style, and they infused it with some kind of like, I don't know, cybernetics or something. No, I, I, I actually, I think it's more of the opposite, that it is a dragon. Oh. And, it, like, literally, and it just happens to be amazing for <laughs> cyborgs. Okay. Oh, hey. Why you guys in Seraph color? What does that mean? When you say Seraph color, are you talking about like Deus Ex or everything's kind of like orange -ish? Oh, you know what? I, I may not have adjusted our camera for the start of the day. Let me... Yeah, because I noticed there was a little bit of um, uh, let, let me go. focus. Well, let, next, time let, you die, next time you die, I can mess around with it. Yeah, as soon as I take care of this. Well, shit. This dragon's a douchebag. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. I believe in your ability to not die this dragon repeatedly like to meet other dragons. Uh, have a cookie. <laughs> have a cookie. He's so cute. Go for his heart. <laughs> ah! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There you go. There Problem you go. Solved. I love how when you're using the um, uh, the uh, the chain gun, it basically just you hear screaming like like the guy from Predator or Predator. Um, yeah, Predator. All right, guys, it's gonna get weird for like one second. Oop! Oh no! Here it goes. Oh, it just got weird. It just got weird. The light! It burns us. It freezes us. And now it's normal. So I have no idea what it does, but what the reason is. But every time we go and um turn on this computer, the camera resets to like three default settings that it really should not. Excellent. You just made carrot cake frosting? Not carrot cake. Carrot, carrot cake, cake frosting. frosting. I'm sure it's pretty good. We killed the unicorn, Brawly. Did he have a horn? I, I didn't even notice. Yeah, we collected it. We're good. Oh, nice. Busting out the bow. I mean, it is clearly the weapon of choice for our hero. <laughs> Get him. You missed your chance! Oh, oh wait. Cook the grenade! There you go. There you go! Gotta go and regather our hearts. Does that... That never gets old. I love doing that. The bow is clearly the most powerful. I mean, the bow is the only weapon in the game that you can't upgrade, so clearly the, the bow starts off OP. It needs a nerf, I think. And that's why I have to play with it. <laughs> because I... You don't, you're, not, you're not limiting yourself by using, by using shitty guns. 
I, I, I'm actually giving the um, bow a nerf. Mm -hmm. Yo, you miss your. <laughs> Dark says he, he would miss his grenade arrows mm -hmm. from the original Far Cry 3. Misa, that, that's actually a good point. It is a one hit kill almost no matter where you hit them. Like, it, I, I've hit things like in the butt, partially pulled back with the partially started <laughs> and. Nerun, um, the, how is this game made? Um, probably the same way other games are, games are made by developers. It they the people said we have the Far Cry Three engine. Yeah. Let's make the '80s apocalypse happen. Well, yeah, we were talking about this earlier. What I like about this game, this hmm. kind of feels like an old school expansion. Remember, like Wait, when you played like what? Warcraft Two and you got like Tides of Darkness, which is basically just more Warcraft Two, or you got um uh, you're playing Starcraft, you get like Brood War, or a lot of the old old school like you know a um, Blizzard expansion packs or expansion packs like from like you know the late '90s, early 2000s. Where they basically they took in-game assets and just made more of it, and that's cool. Yeah, that's, ba I mean, that's basically all I want from Dark Souls Two. I, I want, I want basically the exact same game, which is more content. Yep. If you if you can make it better along the way, like if you can make it look a little prettier, yeah, go for it. Yeah. If you want to make the physics slightly better, go for it. I mean, that's kind of what um what what the new I think Dead Island is basically is. What it is is it's just <laughs> I love doing that. Dead Island Reptide is basically just more Dead Island, and if that's your thing, yay. I much prefer this than to like having like you know, a game and then m making like a um, like a two hour long DLC pack for like ten bucks. That to me is wasteful, completely wasteful. Um, K Man, he hasn't really played Dragon Age Origins. I played Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins, I played like. No, not half. I love Dragon Age Origins. Like, Dragon Age Origins is the first, like, 60-hour game that I played. Then when I beat it, I immediately played it again. Like, I rarely, rarely do I ever play games. Ugh. Like, it's it's not, it's rare for me to play a game and want to play it again immediately afterwards. That's the the first game, in fact, where I did that. And Dragon Age Origin, uh, Origins, you know how you get to a point where you can start getting, like, random um, quests as you're moving from location to location? Yeah. I got to the first one of those, and I was like, I think I'm done with this game. I love that game. Dragon Age 2 can go die in a fucking fire. But Dragon Age 1 is amazing. And remember how I was saying before how, like, I love it when they take and they give expansion packs of games that's usually in-game assets just give you more of the same? Yeah. That's what, basically what Dragon Age Origins is. Not Origins, Awakenings is. It's just more Dragon Age. Um, K-Man, I have not played Shadow of the Colossus. None of us have. None of us. Neither of us have. But that is something you do want to play sometime at stream at some point. I believe that that's a good, this game is a stream game kind of game. Um, Stilken, uh, he's played, I think, maybe half of the first Mass Effect. Mass Effect. I played all three. I love that series. Definitely one of my favorite series. Um, I got... Maybe more than half, but I, I not too far. Oh, Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus is your favorite game, okay, man? Cool. Cool. Okay. We are, we do have access to Red, Red uh, Dead Redemption for the PS3. Uh, we, you know... We have so many. We have, we have so many games on deck to play that it's sometimes you know hard to decide what we're gonna do. But we ha we have access to that one too. Is this is this like a vintage shotgun? Yeah, that's so saying. No, no. Is it this even more vintage? Like, is this the same it's, one we've been using? It's, it's the same one we've been using. Well, what you remember before? Uh, yes, I was saying. It's funny how like we're like the super cybernetic, um, uh, super cybernetic soldier, but we're using an old. I just got the reference. That's the same kind of shotgun that uh, the store, that, that the Terminator used in yeah. Terminator. Like, was basically it's 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 lever actually you spin around. I just got that reference. Wow. Really? You chose that exact moment to walk forward? Fuck it. Well, Monkey Man, uh, when I play Dragon Age Origins, I play the game on like the hardest setting. I even got mods to make the game even harder, and that to me was um. Uh, then again, I, I love the way the combat setup in there, like, because my favorite game of all time is Final Fantasy uh, 12, and the gamut system and how you control those characters was basically lifted for how they how you control your your, your party in uh, Dragon Age Origins. I love that system, and so I put the game on super duper hard, 
and I, super duper super, hard. It wasn't just super hard. The it official, was, the it, official setting. It super was duper super hard. duper hard, and I, I, I feel like I got a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, replay value out of that because the com the combat was really fucking hard, very tactical. So every fight felt like it was a fight, fight for my life, pretty much. You're going down. There's no way around it. You're going down. Chips, when you say Mass Effect was a beast game, do you mean the first one or just the entire series in general? Came in says, fuck it, pull out the minigun. You know, I'm feeling that. A little bit. You feeling it? Did I just... Okay. Did I... Oh! I didn't kill oh. anybody with it, oh. but be I, I think I hit the mob that I was- Mob. Your mob. <laughs> the mob. I think I hit the thing I was supposed to kill with the shotgun with a different weapon, and that automatically disqualifies it. Alright. Alright, that means that we just uh, listen to the mission. Gambit says, I got a mate who mods games to make them e super easy because he's afraid of his character dying. Is that like- does he have like a- like a social anxiety about his character dying that like- when this character dies, a piece of himself dies? Because I can get that, I guess. So I guess if you're someone who just wants to play a game for the story, you don't like video games, that's also legitimate too. Chips Hunter says, let's say the entire series 2 is the favorite, in reference to Mass Effect. Um, but the series is God. He's saying Mass Effect in general is God tier. Um, I per honestly, when it comes to the ending of Mass Effect 3, I'm not gonna make any, um, uh, any, uh, broad statement, because I, I don't want to spoil for anyone who's playing those games, but I was okay with the ending for Mass Effect 3 because I believe in indoctrination theory, and for me, that's an awesome ending. I'll just leave it at that. Now, the, now, if you don't believe in indoctrination theory, um, for Mass Effect 3's ending, the first, Go you, Brawly. the first form of it, I feel it's kind of shitty, but will they extend the ending of Mass Effect 3? If you don't believe in Indoctrination, that ending was fine. But again, Indoctrination Theory, if that was your point, oh my god, if that was your point all along, that's fucking genius. That was fucking genius, I'll say to that. Because if that was their intention, not only did they indoctrinate Shepard, they indoctrinate the player himself. See, or herself. No matter what, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed with the ending of Mass Effect well, well, yeah. 3. And you wanna know the reason why? Because there's more than three colors. I want choice in a video game. <laughs> I wanna be able to pick blue, or orange, or turquoise. Turquoise. No matter what, I wanna be able to pick it. I should have the full 64 color Crayola palette available to me when I end a game. Yeah, that is true. The problem that Mass Effect has is that, you know, for the large port, large portion of the game series, your choices do matter. You affect the plot line. But when you get to the, the end, no matter what you did, you can have one of three endings. And, you know, it, 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 in some ways, if you look at some ways, it might it, it might feel like it invalidates your previous choices. But, um... We should make a Minecraft server. Oh god. We've played a bunch of Minecraft. Yeah, I, I think we've put our time in for Minecraft. Uh, well, no, no. But... What I want... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say... Um... Yeah, I... I yeah, it, I, it just doesn't feel like a stream thing. I yeah, mean. I mean, if, if you are a dedicated Minecraft streamer, that's cool. Because that's a thing, but I think... I, I don't think you can half-ass Minecraft. You either got going all the way, or you don't do it at all. And I agree, Dark, that if you don't subscribe to um, the indoctrination theory, the extent of any they, get, they have for Mass Effect 3 is better than what, they, than what they originally had. What I want from a game that that, pers that subscribes to the idea that your choice matters... So, in a lot of these games, like, you know, Deus Ex did it, um, Mass Effect and all that, so you have choices you make throughout the game that matter. But then you get to the end of the game and you have one of three choices, and none of these choices actually pertain to everything you made beforehand. Well, you know, this 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 is the, the 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 tree of choices where here's the game and then here's the ending right here. To to be fair, Deus Ex: Human Revolution, 
I don't. They, they pretty much covered all their angles, so well, it didn't feel like anything mattered. Well, that well that's true because that, that, the ending choices or can basically can cover most of the philosophies you would have with that kind of situation. I, I think. So, but what I want for, I want a game to do. I want a game that basically has like a fuck ton of permutations. Where like here's the oh here's all the endings you can have. Like it has has like ten endings, but if you make certain choices in the game, you only get access to five of those endings. So if you want to see the other five endings, you have to play the game completely differently. Well, the, the issue there is twofold: that they want people to see the endings, slash they don't want people to complain that they didn't get to see the endings. Well, yeah, and it takes a lot of effort to well, go I know. And put I, that. I in. was gonna say like. The thing is, though, you could do that with old school games like Fallout, where you didn't have to voice every single character. You know, mm -hmm. when, when, you all, when you all you had to deal with was with text, that was super easy because that didn't take that much coding. Nowadays, like Mass Effect, for every single permutation of the story, they have to voice that. They have to voice not only the um, you know male female version of Shepard. They have to voice you know the 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 um, uh, the Paragon you know responses and the Renegades responses, and also I think they put in the game where if you always choose Paragon and then all of a sudden choose a Renegade choice, your character says it a bit differently. There is a lot of fucking data in the game that just, just, just basically prevents them from making these super multi-tiered you know you know permutations of the story. So, really? Wow, this is quite a farce fire here. Like it's kind of like it's kind of like how look at the look at. Uh, Dragon Age 1 and Dragon Age 2. Dragon Age 1 is great in that your main character is unvoiced, but the plot line can go so many different places. Now granted, the ending is kind of always the same in that you always end up on top of that tower fighting the dragon, but different things can happen. In Mass Effect, not Mass Effect, in Dragon Age 2, the fact that you have a voiced main character really, really, really limits what they can do with the plot in the game. Like seriously, the story in Dragon Age 2 is so small and so not cool compared to Dragon Age 1 story. No, 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 don't do it! Don't guys! But yeah, that that's my my feeling on that on that situation. I don't know if the future I don't know, now that we're we're, we're putting games on Blu-ray discs if we can um uh if we can support having I was full health when that exploded, <laughs> wasn't I? You probably were. Yep. Yep. But you know let me throw something out there. Yeah. I don't need all of that content. I just need a good okay. game. Well, and you know, I know. That's why, like, people, like... Well, I, I was gonna say, this game right here. A good game. They, they, in order to go and stretch out the game and to put in a lot of stuff, they have these shitty, dumb as... 8-bit cutscenes, and you know what? They're probably the best parts of the game, well, despite the fact that they probably were the cheapest things for them to make. Well, the reason why there's the, the reason why there isn't any actual like animated scenes because they didn't have the budget for animated scenes. Exactly. So they put in these these cheesy 8-bit cutscenes. And let me just say that you could give me dra you could give me Dragon Age 2, or you could give me Mass Effect, and I don't need everything voiced perfectly or animated. Yeah. I just need the good story yeah. along with good gameplay. Yeah. Good good story will trump anything that's like i, I kind of hate nowadays now granted i'm t right now i'm talking about having all these permutations of plot line but and it, you, you would think that i hate li a linear game oh see you later ego raptor yep see, see you man see you sir you would think i hate linear games but no like bioshock infinite is a game that is the storyline is very linear and the point of the game really in the game world teaches you that you have no choice and i loved it you know it, it just comes down it comes down to is the game well written you know so Dragon Age 2, you got choices, but that game is not... Well, then again, though, I rag on Dragon Age 2, but I absolutely love the party banter in Dragon Age 2. The party, the party banter in Dragon Age 2 is bounds and bounds better than part, the, the better than party banter from, like, uh, Dragon Age 1, or even Mass Effect, I think. What do we want the next Bioshock to be about? Well, first of all, there's a question. Is there going to be another Bioshock? Yeah, I know Kevin Levine has said that he is not... He doesn't want to do another Bioshock. But I mean, if there's always a man, there's always a city. Where else could they go? Could they do like a 19, like a 1960s um uh you know um uh, space city or space city on the moon? That that could be something they do. But I don't know if that would that kind of fit in the old school style of the game. I don't know. Oh, Lionheart, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age Origins is fucking fantastic. My God, man! If you're looking for a a multi-tiered um story where you, you are the you are the center of the world, your choices matter. I mean, for the most part, they matter. Dragon Age is good. And plus, the modding community for Dragon Age is fucking amazing. Not Dragon Age 2, but Dragon Age 1, the modding... My god, the mods for that game are crazy. What is? 
Oh, that is that is an electric eel. I'm like, why is there a glowing thing in the water? Godot says he wants to see an underground Bioshock with cave madness. I could do it, go for that. Yeah. I mean, they really have the moon. Lego Bioshock. They have space, which I don't think fits exactly with the Bioshock game. See you later, Raptor. And they have... Objective. Eliminate all enemies. Proceeding. Yeah, I think the only if they're gonna do another Bioshock, you have like your options are now somewhere in space or somewhere under, underground. Or yeah. underground. That's pretty much that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> Gambit says Lego Dark Souls. That actually fits, I think. You know, I'd play it. <laughs> it broke the circle. Um. Oh, wow, I'm totally gonna fuck up this name. I apologize, sir. Uh, Miss... Oh... Miss... Wait, Wait, really? This is someone who's been in our chat before. Bob. I know, I know, I, I know I've mispronounced her name before. Just respond to your, your Bioshock, um, uh... Misaki. Okay, Misaki. Is it Misaki? It, it, it's not the issue I can't pronounce, I can't pronounce the name, it's just that it's it's together, and I prefer... If it's gonna be two names, underscore it. Put an underscore. But now I think the underscore is terrible. So many Japanese names. Um, well, how did I say it? Um, fuck. <laughs> Misaki. Is it Misaki? Okay, Misaki. So I don't think I'm gonna be spoiling too many, too much about Bioshock Infinite. The circle was broken, but only the circle that was that involved Infinite. You still have this this multi arcing branch of the universes. They have nothing to do with ah, Columbia, this Elizabeth, is, this Booker, is a little bit. Comstock. That's a little bit. What? A little spoilery. It's not spoilery. Vaguely. It doesn't spoil the two big things, but it yeah. does get into things that you would not know about yeah. in the game. I know, Chips has an underscore. And he says his underscore is cool. What, what about Overboard Gaming, Brawly? I'm sorry, K-Man. My bad, man. Um, we played Bioshock Infinite. One of my favorite games of all time, honestly. It is also the game, another game where I played immediately afterwards after I beat it. We beat it, sorry. Yep. He didn't ruin anything for you. Yeah, I honestly didn't ruin anything for you, man. There are two big spoilers in Bioshock <laughs> Infinite that you can well, get. Well, there's... I'm not going to say them, but there's the main one, that one... Okay, I guess there's two main big ones, really. You're right. Obviously, there's more like, yeah. that you could point out that you wouldn't know going into it, but... <laughs> Misaki says one of them is that Snape kills Dumbledore. Damn spoiler! You damn spoiler spoiling everything! I love how that is the go-to spoiler when you want to talk about spoilers nowadays. Yep. Here we are, killing the Daft Punk army. He what?! Oh, sorry. Sorry we just spoiled the entirety of uh, Harry Potter for you, Monkey Man. How did that one become a meme? What, Snape killed Dumbledore? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was huge, because that was a huge thing in the plotline. I think what it, what it was is, um... Excuse me, sorry. There was a video of people waiting in line for to buy a oh, Harry Potter okay. book. And someone drives by and screams out, Snape kills Dumbledore! And then... Obviously, it's funny, but it's really shitty that the person did that. And then basically one of the people in line goes, No! You bitch! You bitch! So, I mean, again, the, the, the line, or that is funny, but... Man, that is so dickish. That is such a dick thing to do. That's a good point. It's not really spoilers when you say that Sean Bean is gonna die, because yeah. Sean Bean is gonna die. Yep. 